The death of UP freshman Chriselle Dejada triggered many campaigns, one of which is an initiative offering support to others who may be going through an emotional crisis similar to what Tejada went through. And joining us in the studio this morning is Jean Margaret Goldborn, president of the Natasha Goldborn Foundation, or NGF Hope. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. So the foundation, its main campaign now is to help in finding a way to provide mental health treatment yes. in the country? Yes, not really mental health treatment. Mm -hmm. Five and a half years ago, mm -hmm. we, 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 did an, we formed the Natasha Foundation, Natasha mm -hmm. Goldborn Foundation, and um, our real goal and mission was to raise awareness mm -hmm. about depression mm -hmm. and to pre prevent suicide mm -hmm. because the suicide cases among the youth is rising. Here so in the Philippines. In the Philippines. And in fact, the Philippines in Southeast Asia is considered number one in the statistics of depression. And with, with that study also, ma'am, who are the likely candidates so far based on um, what based the Based on has found? a lot of, um, between the ages of 18 to 27, mm -hmm. there's, um, there's a high rate. Mm -hmm. And then there's a few that's coming up between the ages of 10 to 14, which is shocking. And... Uh, about 20 years ago, it was between the ages of 45 to 60 mm, no, that were younger. taking their lives, but now it's really gone down in age. And um, because of the death of my daughter 11 years ago, um, five years and a half ago, when we formed the foundation, the mission was really to have this campaign. And my first one and a half year, we did it for the OFW. And then after the OFW, I decided to shift mm -hmm. when I saw the alarming rise of depression, bullying mm -hmm. amongst the school, in the campus. And so for the past two years, we did something in Quezon City mm -hmm. on a very special day called Suicide Prevention Day. Mm -hmm. And NGF is a member of the International Association of Suicide Prevention. What are your projects currently to the support best, that advocacy? The best project we have right now is the Hope Line. In partnership with Taos Puso and in partnership with GLOBE, we were able to come up with a fantastic 24-hour, um, seven-day service for people to call in. Mm -hmm. And after Christelle's um, passing away, we were having about 30 calls a day versus eight calls a day. Mm -hmm. And um, it's really very interesting that most of our callers this time are really the youth, mm -hmm. students. And um, you know, it's uh, worrisome sometimes when it happens in a school that there is one suicide because sometimes they could follow mm -hmm. two or three more. Mm -hmm. So I think that when all this excitement is a bit over, I requested two or three of our psychologist consultants to be able to give talks in UP and to do the healing period mm -hmm. and to do also the renewal, the transformation back to life. Mm -hmm. And so for each person in UP, aside from this, uh, all this demonstration about nutrition, there would be and should be an internal rediscovery of self Mm -hmm. The rediscovery of who I am, mm -hmm. where am I going amongst the youth, and not to get lost in their everyday. Um, it has been now like a part of the daily life of a student to get totally lost mm -hmm. in the internet mm -hmm. games and the virtual world. Mm -hmm. And that is one of the causes uh, today. Not being able to communicate with cannot friends Cannot communicate now. anymore. Mm -hmm. The so lack of I understand, ma'am, that the foundation is also coming up with manuals yes. or booklets and yes. to further have more trainings yes. available to s teachers in particular for schools so that yes. they will help, help to help them analyze or at least identify if yes. there are problem areas. Actually, that was my plan for last year, mm -hmm. but uh, it was shifted instead mm -hmm. to the crisis calls, mm -hmm. the hope line with Tao Spuso and then Globe. We shifted it because there were just so many calls coming in and saying, mm -hmm. where do we go? What do we do? So that took priority, but it's always been in my heart and in the foundation amongst the board members mm -hmm. 
to address this situation in the youth. What number the can uh, it's somebody The easiest call? number is mm -mm. 2919. 2919. That's the easiest number to remember mm -mm. because it's toll free. Okay. So if you're using a cell phone and you use 2919, it's the easiest. Okay. And there's a lot to do really. Mm -hmm. And I'm very happy to be here. I've, I'm appealing now to uh, Department of Health. We have had meetings and it's ongoing to prepare programs and to help me with the pamphlets and the manuals mm -hmm. that we could distribute all over mm -hmm. the country. And uh, three years ago, uh, I was requested and we were in the middle of brainstorming mm -hmm. on how to do a symposium, a convention for teachers where a, a panel of psychologists, a panel of psychiatrists could come together in an open forum with teachers. Mm -hmm. So that's the other one that we have in our calendar. But the most, uh, one of the most important thing, which I would like the youth to join, is September 1 to 10, mm -hmm. when we celebrate life and we say no to depression and no to suicide. Okay, thank you so much for joining us this morning, ma'am. Yes, thank you. It's been a pleasure.